my first teaching job, I was hired and I made $7,500. And a man was hired the same time and they offered him $10,000. I've helped win four World Cup championships and four Olympic gold medals for the United States. Despite those wins, I'm still paid less than men who do the same job that I do. The strength of unequal pay rests on the notion of unequal value. It is an issue of equity. Invest in women, then let's talk again when you see the return. My college experience was good, but I do think that those years were really when I became more aware of discrepancies within the sport. I think we see it more in our professional lives than we do in colleges, un unfortunately. Obviously, we have a, a, a very public <laughs> fight going on, <laughs> going on there, but yeah, I feel like we felt it almost more after college. It's even tougher for women of color. Yes. <laughs> and when yeah. we talk about equal pay, we always talk about the 80 cents on the dollar, or 85 cents, and it's real, that's not, that's not the number. It's about 52 cents for a yeah. Hispanic woman. One of the things I'm proudest of, well, we're gonna reduce child yeah, poverty by 40%, but it's about focusing on caregivers too. So many women are out of the workforce because they had to choose between taking care of their elderly mom and their son or daughter that's home or go to work. So often the work is left to the people that it's affecting most. We're doing the best that we can with what we have, but to have it obviously come from the very top is the most important. I think we're making enormous progress. No, I think there was a huge seismic shift last year. Inequities in our society were sort of laid very bare. Yeah, and yeah, for sure. I think a lot of white people especially mm -hmm. dropped the innocence part of it and mm -hmm. realized that you know, we have to do more. Now we need to couple it with the government approach and you know, with bills and legislation and, and all of that to go along with the change that we're seeing in society.